Welcome back to Drilling HSE. I'm Gabriel. And I'm Farhanad. Today, we're breaking down a very important safety control topic, lockout, tugout, and isolation. What's the difference? Let's clear it up. Okay, let's start with isolation. This is the broader term. It means physically preventing the release of energy, whether it's electrical, hydraulic, pneumatic, mechanical, or even chemical, by separating the equipment from its energy source. Right. For example, if we shut a valve and insert a spade or blank flange in a pipeline during rig maintenance, that's isolation. Or when we open a circuit breaker and switch it off. Now, what's lockout? Lockout is a method of enforcing isolation. After isolating the equipment, we apply a lock, typically a padlock, on the isolating device so it physically cannot be operated. And only the person who placed the lock can remove it. Like on a drilling rig, if a mud pump's power supply is isolated, the electrician places a lock on the breaker to prevent accidental re-energizing during maintenance. And here's where tugout comes in. A tugout is a warning sign or tag attached to the isolation point explaining what's been isolated, who did it, and why. It's informational, but on its own, it doesn't physically prevent operation. Exactly. That's why lockout and tugout are often used together for maximum safety. The lock prevents operation, and the tag communicates important details. Quick example, imagine you have a generator maintenance job. First, isolate the power at the main breaker. Then, apply a lock on the breaker to prevent switching it back on. Finally, attach a tag with your name, date, and reason for isolation. And remember, no lock, no work. Never rely on a tag alone where energy hazards exist. Perfectly said. So to recap, isolation, cutting off the energy source, lockout, locking it in the off position, tugout, adding a warning notice. Simple, clear, and life-saving when done properly. Stay tuned, more practical rig safety talks coming your way. From Drilling HSE, stay safe, and see you in the next episode.